change your answer is after you get the correct answer. <laughs> Turn it on, I it. Yeah. Oh, this is what do you do with that line? Lost it. And you initial it. Okay. And I lost it. <laughs> it's, it's a cardiac. Alright, you guys ready? Yeah. Our contestant today is Levi. Levi was involved in a motor vehicle accident on the way to school today. He's unconscious, unresponsive, with an intact gag reflex. He has the cerebrate posturing. You make the determination. You must RSI him. What I want you to do is I want you to write down the drugs that you're going to give, how much he weighs, and the dosing in milligrams based on what we went over. On your marks, get set, and go. As soon as somebody, first person's done, I want you guys to raise your hand. Did you say he did have a head injury? I didn't say whether or not he had a head injury or not. I said he had, he was unconscious and he had yeah. cerebrate posturing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Heart rate. Uh, no, it's a heart rate too. So blood pressure is 180 over 110. Heart rate of 50. Respiratory rate. Respiratory rate is uh, 26. <laughs> Clear equal bilateral. SPO2. It's not reading. I think I'm good. Where's the pearl? They're there. <laughs> are the eagle or the pearl? Uh, I don't know. Can't tell. I'm new at this job. I can't figure it out. I'm too, I'm too shook up. I'm too shook up. I'm emotionally, I'm an emotional wreck right now. Because I'm responding on Levi. And I'm very upset because I recognize Levi. Tiny fentanyl are similar to the tree. In dosage. Nobody's done yet? Oh, we got we got one done. One done. All right, let's see. What is that? Is that half? Anybody else? You guys got to be faster at this. Faster, faster, faster. Doses. Now we're going to start pouring pressure on you guys. We're going to start distracting you. We're going to have a lot of other things going on. We got sirens going. We got people going. We got your partner screaming. They don't know what to do. They're scared. Oh, geez. The next thing you know, your partner passes out. Oh, now you got two patients. Now what do you do? I don't know what to do. Oh, uh, that's a good at RSI. Can we compare? Nope, not, not comparing yet. Are we close? <laughs> Because <laughs> it's easy. Are we still in like uh, the beginning phases of preparation of our seven P's? Alright, how many people how many people are done? Let's see hands. Okay, I got one, two, three, four. Nobody else is done? Five? Six? Seven? Let's go! Faster! This is a rapid thing, man. I mean this is the simple part. I can't remember the doses. So that's can't what remember the doses. No, oh my goodness yeah. gracious. Oh, it should cost up. <laughs> so remember how I said every time I'm going to see you guys from this point forward, we're doing our side stuff? I'm not joking. Every single time I see you guys, we're going to start off with a different scenario, uh, different uh, types of medications we're going to have to use for this. Because this is the one that involves the most medications that we do, and we're giving them all, and there's this very specific order for which we give them. So this is one of the things, like, when you do a code, you guys are going to do so many repetitions on the codes where you're going to know the medication that you're giving, but you're pretty limited in the number. I looked at that. Now that I have a proper EMP on scene, you get a pearl. 
Uh, no, they, uh, they're not double they're not tap. Two tanks. So you one, one milligram and then point two. Point two uh, my eyes are pearl. <coughs> <coughs> no, they're not pearl. Yeah, right, right, right all the medical. Six, oh, that's the only all medical three. control. So you can get the sluggish uh, initial without the medical control. Trying to be the first. Okay. There we go. We practice once. Everybody done? Because that's been way plenty enough time. <laughs> All right, Levi. Let's see. How much does Levi weigh? Let's. Uh, does anybody have fifty? Pounds. 50 kilos. Do we have fifty kilos? Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. 95. 100. Everybody puts 100 because the math is easy. Because it's easy. Or maybe he looks like he's 220 pounds. 110. <laughs> I should have done 100. <laughs> I know. 120. <laughs> 140. 150. 200. 200. Oh, Levi, 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. Okay, wow. so here we go. What's the difference between 90 kilos and 120 kilos? 30 kilos. 30 kilograms, so 45. 30, 30 kilos? So how many, how many pounds is that? 62 pounds. 60, about 66 pound difference. Is that a big difference? No. Yeah. You guys have to get way closer. Okay? So by the end here, what we're looking for is we're looking for something. 10 kilos off as you guys start to learn weight and stuff, okay? That's how close we want to start getting um, for our <coughs> estimations, okay? It's reasonable. So Levi, if you don't mind, sir, you don't have to. 205. 205. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So, oh. so, what do you think would be a good number to go with then? 90. 90. 95 because it's 93. 100. So it's 93, so we got a 93 kilo. So 100. So we're going to go with 100, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. First drug. What do we choose? Fentanyl. Lidocaine. Lidocaine. Okay. Either, Lidocaine. both. Lidocaine, fentanyl. How many people want to give fentanyl first? One, two, sure. three, four. <laughs> So, first. remember remember when we were talking, which one goat has to be given three to five minutes prior? Lidocaine. So we're going to start with lidocaine. Okay? Dose? 1.5 1. 1. make per kg. Per kilo equals? 250. Anybody have anything different than 150 milligrams? Well, I do because I did the 120. So, what, what did your calculation turn out to be? 180 megs. So we got 150, 180, okay, so we're starting to get a little bit of difference here, okay. Uh, next dose of what? Fentanyl. Three mics, Three mics per kg. Equals? 360. 300. 300. 360. 360. 360. 360. 360. Do you want me to give you my mics. 120? Mike. Oh. You said you put mics? Yeah. Oh, see, there's a C right there. Oh, and then, and then my G. Oh, okay. Oh, good. So that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like mine. Fentanyl has a max of 300. Ooh. Okay. Remember we talked about this? So, oh. does it have a max in RSI? No. 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 no, it does not have a max in RSI. It does have a maximum in pain management. Okay, so in the RSI protocol, there's no actual maximum listed for it. But there is a maximum if you're giving it for just the pain medication protocol. Yeah. Is the fentanyl at this stage also three to five minutes prior, or is it just the lidocaine? Just the lidocaine. Lidocaine has the three to five minutes. Uh, and then the fentanyl is basically, as soon as you get that stuff in, and at, basically you're going to be drawing stuff up, give that lidocaine first, you go up, you draw up your fentanyl, you push your fentanyl, about that time you go back, you drive, grab your next med, which would be? Tetomidate. Tetomidate. Or fentanyl. I did with ketamine. Anybody go with ketamine? How many ketamines? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, about good, about half. Okay, what are the three indications for ketamine? Respiratory disease, hypotension, or peeves. 
You got respiratory disease. Hypotension. So we didn't ask that. We should ask that. We wouldn't know that. And peds. Mm -hmm. Does Levi meet any of these? No. No, but I can't remember. Okay, so. Accommodate. Accommodate for everything except for those three situations. Right. What's the contraindication from Does everybody get that? Clarify. Is it hypertension with possible ICD? What's that? Is it hypertension with potential ICD? No, it's just. No, we just did that on the one over there. I thought there was a P. I was anticipating ICD. <coughs> so is uh, ketamine going to increase blood pressure? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. 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 So is it something that you are going to want to use caution with uh, for a head injury patient? Yes. yes. So do we want to give ketamine to a patient that has heart injury? No. Okay. So atomidate is going to be our medication of choice. And the dosing is? 2.3 milligrams. 36. So? 30 to 36. Or 36. All right, next, next med? Sucks. Dose? 2 milligrams per kilogram. Total? 200. 200. At our max. 240. Can we get 240? No. No. Max is 200. 200 max. Everybody tracking that? Yeah. We good so far? Yeah? You guys feeling totally confident with RSI? More than I was last week. <laughs> we're making progress. See, that's why we're going to do it every day. So that you guys get more and more comfortable. You'll be, by the end of the class, it'll be like, i, I got to create some sort of crazy, random, never going to happen scenario in the world so that you guys will be able to pull this off. All right, next med. Dose? 0.1 milligrams per kilogram. 10, but 6. 6 is going to be a max. Max is 6. Max is 6. OK, next drug? Fentanyl. Fentanyl? 300. Uh, Send dose. Uh, 300 or 360. Okay, and let's say you need to use a maintenance dose. Uh, Real quick, term. Real quick, on fentanyl there. Yeah. So in RSI, we don't have a max for RSI in the pre. Do we have a max in the post because it's because it's a maintenance kind of thing? Yeah. No. So uh, because well, RSI dosing, period. RSI period, there's no max dosing. It's only if you're going to be given it in pain medication and related okay. stuff. Okay. Uh, and so uh, last med. Long-term atomidate, is that Long, anything? Mm -hmm. Long-term rock maintenance and rock. rock. Okay, so we got rock. Dosing of? 0 0.2. 0 0.2. Maintenance. Make per Zero kilo. range? 0.1. Uh, okay. And so we talked about, you know, always going on the high side, right? Oh. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Shit. So how much? Make per kilo. Uh, 24 max? mig. Nope. Okay, so 20 milligrams? To 24. Four. Everybody happy with that? Everybody cool? Cucumber. Piece of cake, right? So now what you need to do is you get to go through and you get to take all these milligrams and micrograms and stuff and convert them into milliliters, right? So now you got a bunch of 10 cc syringes, you got a bunch of 5 cc syringes, you got 3 cc syringes, and then you're going to have to take all this stuff and create concentrations to be able to draw that up into the syringe, right? Because the reason I say that is, of these, lidocaine is the only one. Let me see, my double check. Yep. Yeah. No, lidocaine is the only one that comes pre packaged in a pre filled syringe that will tell you on the syringe how many milligrams there are per milliliter. So it'll show you 20, 40, 60, 80 milligrams per each milliliter. All the rest will be in a vial or a carpet check type. Um, Actually, we don't even really do carpet checks anymore. Uh, so, most of the, so all of these are going to be in vials that you're going to have a concentration on the side of the vial. And then this is where you've got to take that milligrams to milliliter calculations. All right. We're not really going to get into that because we talked about that because the packaging is different for all different and it's constantly changing. Uh, and so what we'll do uh, at some point, we're going to have kind of like a little math 
uh, class for you guys on converting milligrams to milliliters, concentration stuff, uh, in order to get that stuff. As you can do some math. When we start running uh, scenarios and we start giving us these RSIs, will you also put up like your lidocaine is 10 megs per, per mil or our concentrations for us to do that math as well? So what I will do is when we start running these scenarios, I will physically hand you the vial or the syringe, the, the packaging. I'll be like, hey, here's a vial that sucks. Here you go. You can read on it and it'll tell you 200 milligrams in 10 milliliters, 20 milligrams per milliliter, and then you get to figure out, okay, I need 200 milligrams, I was like, okay, yep, that should be 10 milliliters, okay, I need a 10 cc syringe, let me draw that up, while I'm screaming at you all at the same time. With your hoodie closed? With, with it's pretty much like this. Okay. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. okay. So your muffle as well, right? Right, because then you can't tell if I'm smiling or if I'm cringing. It's like you try to read my eyes, and it's just like. Oh, oh you get the forehead. <laughs> I mean, there was even one where it's like we had. Remember, this? it even made Facebook one time. People took somebody took a picture of me out here, and, and students from previous years were like, "Oh, I know that look." As I'm standing there, it's one of these things, <laughs> just standing over the top while you guys are doing our side, and it's just like PTSD kind of stuff for old students. But. All right. So does that make sense on how how those are going to be presented? for you guys. And it, it's going to be super crazy and chaotic to start off with. But just know each time you do it, it gets easier and easier because then you start to recognize the drugs, you recognize the concentrations, you start to get more comfortable with it. And so that's why, like I said, this is one of those things that I want. we want to do every, every class because it's the most drugs and the most different combinations and mixtures that's going to be super, a super stressful situation. Yes. We're going to put our intubation midterm tomorrow. Are we expected to know these doses? Or just going to go no. To our side? no. No. So those, that intubation stuff will just basically be performing the skill of an intubation. Patients takes the OPA. We're not. We're not going to be doing this. Yep. This will not be the. Uh, this will not be added into that skill of for extra stress. This is where maybe one of these drug dosing things maybe. Uh, but for the most part. Okay.